What's up, booze? What it do? What it do? Welcome to A. Nicole Tarot. I'm your girl, A. Nicole, and I am here to deliver messages from your raggedy ass person. So come on in, come on in, come on in, come on in. Thank y'all so much for y'all's likes, y'all love, y'all shares. Thank y'all so much for the love and engagement you give the channel. Special thank you to my booze who hit up my tip jar. Thank you all so much. I always send y'all up an extra blessing. Um, and special thank, thank you to my booze um, who have scheduled their um, readings and services with me. My appointment book is officially closed. Um, I will not be taking clients um, in my online store. My wellness and skincare brand, Black Sauce, will also be closed the entire month of May through um, June 5th. Okay? Um, thank you all to everyone who has booked their session with me. I can't wait to do the rest of uh, the month's um, sessions. I'm just excited. Okay? Let me see. Trying to make sure I get everything before I start. Um, only take what resonates, y'all. If it don't sound like you or your person, it's not you or your person. All right? Only take what resonates. I'll leave all of my information below with how to connect with me off of here. Um, if you want to follow me, if you want to check out my online membership, my blog, my store, my other brands, all up to you. Mm, I hope you can forgive me. I can't decide which deck I want to use. That's why I was biding my time and waiting. Hmm. Let's see. This is messages from your person. So whoever this person is on your mind, this is messages from them. Okay, that's the first one. I regret how I handled the situation. Mm, so this person could have showed their ass. And baby, yes, I saw the real you. Okay. Yeah, this person may have wild the fuck out. You know, this person might have been on that, on that crazy shit. You know? And they're regretting how they handled the situation. How they handled you in the situation. You know, I don't, I don't know what I want. I was about to say, especially if there's some sort of a third party. This person is saying they don't know what they want. They confused. You know, why you act dumb like it duh. That's, that's how this person is feeling. Okay. For context. Oh, I get triggered at the thought of you. Hmm. I know you're the one for me. What the fuck? This person is confused. I don't know what I want to. I know you're the one for me. This person is confused. I'm trying to tell you. They just don't want to lose you. That's what they know. That's what they know. You know, I don't I, I don't know what I want. Blah, blah, blah. No, but this is what I know. I don't want to lose Nick's boo. And and in the in, in in the interim of me finding out what the fuck I want, I want Nick's boo to stick the fuck around. And Nick's boo better not fucking do that. Cause I'll this is a family show. What's this? I can feel your energy everywhere. Yeah, this person is getting triggered. This person is getting triggered by one, what they did. How they showed they fucking ass. The subsequent, you know, a judgment that you let down on them. You know, and now they're they're getting triggered. Because they they can't escape you. They can't escape you. They can't escape what they did to you. Hmm. What else there? My love for you will never change. They could have told you they always going to love you. They you always going to be the love of my life. I'm never going to stop feeling the way I feel about you. What the fuck does that mean to me if you don't know how to treat me i be asking motherfuckers that go to the board and show me your fucking work what the fuck does all of that mean to me especially after you didn't try to motherfucking drag me within an inch of my motherfucking life because 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 baby i'm not about that fairy tale shit but i digress tell me more spirit tell me more thank you tell me more about my booze raggedy ass person what else we got about their raggedy ass person what messages do they have for the boo? I'm scared of being vulnerable with you. I'm trying to tell you. Everything reminds me of you, baby. They can't shake you. 
That's 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 the main frame. Dame, okay? He's gonna be like, Mama, why do you? And I'm like, because I'm a motherfucking auntie and I'm a motherfucking rapper. Okay. Don't, 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 don't hate on me and my rhymes. I'm gonna spit these motherfucking cool 16s everywhere I go. All right. Everything reminds them of you. They cannot shake you. I still have hope that we can work things out. I'm telling you, this person feels like you should stick the fuck around. Oh, fuck all that bullshit. You, 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 you rolling with me or not. I'm scared of being vulnerable with you. This person knows that, you know, with you, they got to go deep. You be getting them deep cuts. Okay? They know with you, ain't nothing surface. Okay? Hmm. Tell me more, spirit. Tell me more. For my booze person, thank you. I've been trying to forget about you, but I can't. Man. You got your hooks in on this motherfucker. This person tossing and turning that motherfucking night. This motherfucker, my mind's playing tricks on me. Okay, this year Halloween fell on the weekend. Me and ghetto boys are trick or treating. Robbing little kids for bags. I'm trying to tell you. This person has been trying to forget about you and they can't. Their mind is playing tricks on them because they feel your energy every motherfucking where. Everything reminds them of you. They get triggered. So can you imagine that? They can't get their mind off of you. Everything reminds them about you. They see you everywhere. And on top of that, those thoughts trigger them. Can you? That's, that's hell 24-7. Especially... How they handled the situation. They can't blame nobody but themselves. As they fucking should. I am aware that there's more to it. This person is aware. These motherfuckers be knowing. People be giving people the uh, benefit of the doubt. And I be like why? These motherfuckers be knowing. They be knowing what the fuck they doing. And what they not doing. And what they ruining. Okay. See like, see, I just did that. So, so, so. Yeah. These motherfuckers be knowing what they be doing. And who they screwing with as, 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 as it resonates. That may not be for everybody, but for the homegirl or the homeboy in the back, this bud's for you. We need to take it slow. No, we need to motherfucking... <laughs> Let me not say that. Let me not say that. I'm telling you, this person wants you to go at their pace. They want to slow you down. It's at their pace. It's at their comfort level. Mm. You feel like home to me. That's why they don't want to lose you. They've been a motherfucking foster kid all this motherfucking time. And they run into you, Miss Rain. And you so nice and everything. And they don't know how to handle you. You know, because they've been, you know, pop locking and dropping it. You know, this whole time. And of course, they fucked it up. Oh, okay, spirit. This is a lot. This is a lot. Let me put it to the side. This person is saying, I'm sorry for breaking your trust. This person could have did something real low down dirty. And it's a shame. Yeah, this person is sorry for breaking your trust. Whether they lied to you, deceived you, cheated on you, betrayed you, stabbed you in your motherfucking back, whatever. They're sorry for breaking your trust. And it's because they don't love themselves. They're still learning how to love themselves. And that's why I say it's important. Motherfuckers always want to add it. Oh, no, you can't say that. No, it's important. I only fuck with people who have shown me that they love themselves. Because if you don't love you, what the fuck? And on top of that, I love me. So I know that you're going to have a problem with my boundaries. And my motherfucking autonomy, you know, and my shit that I have about myself, my boundaries, all of that. It's a hell. I just no, no, thank you. I've been watching your social media. I'm trying to tell you. You could even, if the trigger that the thought of you, you could even be posting shit that triggers this person. It could be, child, it could be you going out. It could be you at brunch. You at brunch with your homegirls today. That motherfucker was somewhere foaming at the mouth. They say they focusing on themselves right now as they motherfucking should. I don't know if that means they not dealing with nobody. They just focusing on themselves right now or they're just like really working on themselves. Hmm. I'm scared to commit to you. I need my freedom now. Well, Spirit say, yeah, they, they, I know y'all don't want to hear that, but 
This person wants to have their freedom. I'm trying to tell you. They want to focus on themselves. Do them. That, that's it. I'm here. And I, they want to do them. I want to do me. That's why this person wants to take it slow. Because they want you to wait on them. They want you to be cool with that. They want you to put your shit on pause. Your shit on hold. While you take it slow. With this Raz Tasma Daz. I'm not ready to reach out to you. And they shouldn't be. Reach within. And see why you had me fucked up. Okay, is what a lot of y'all are saying. But they say they've never felt anything like this before. They never knew love like this before. Okay. They never knew a love like this. Yeah. They just... Even with all of that being said, they still aren't ready to do what they need to do. You have the most beautiful and purest heart. That's why they broke your trust. They took your kindness for weakness. They took your empathy for weakness. They saw you being caring, nice, and compassionate. They saw you giving a fuck about them, and they took you for being green. And a lot of people do that because they're not used to people just genuinely giving a fuck about them. So when they see somebody caring, whatever, they think they didn't came up on a lick. I wish I would have treated you better. I'm trying to tell you. I wish I would have treated you better. And I regret how I handled the situation. Yeah, this person is in regret about how they did you. This person is definitely in regret about how they did you. I'm trying to understand myself more. Or, or, or what? That you the piece of shit ass motherfucker. Okay? And I, I'll give you that for free. You don't even got to book no session. All right. If these messages are resonating with you, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and the algorithm, and it makes your girl so happy. All right. Let's see. I'm going to go into the tarot and clarify a bit. Or, you know what? Do I need to? What's this? I need more time to reflect on myself. Sorry I lied to you. I'm telling you, I picked that up. Y'all's person, a lot of y'all's persons lied to y'all. Y'all found this person in a lie. Y'all caught them in a lie. They deceived you. They betrayed you in some way. And they've been reflecting on this. And they're saying they need more time to reflect on this. I get triggered by the thought of you. That's probably why a lot of them ain't really trying to think too much about it. Because when they think about you, they think about what they did to you. And why they no longer have access to you. You know, that's a bittersweet thought. I want to message you, but I'm afraid you might reject me. So this person wants to um, reach out to you. You could even feel that. Because, I mean, especially with how much this person is, is thinking about you. How much this person has thoughts about you. How much this person is obsessing about you. You can feel them wanting to reach out to you. But they want to reach out to you. But they're afraid that after all they've done. You know, will you answer? Will you take them in? They real scary. You know, they real shaky. Shake, here are They real shaky. Wow, I've been watching your social media. They real fucking Snoopy Doop Doop too. Talking about Snoop, talking about some Snoop. Yeah, they're watching you. They're curious. They know that they can't give you what you need, but they're curious to see if somebody else is giving you what you need. What you're out here looking like. What you're out here doing. Hmm. Ain't that something? Okay, Spirit, we got anything else? Are we ready to wrap this shit up with a bow? Spirit, do we have anything else? I still have hope we can work this out. Yeah, this person still has hope. Okay, this person is keep hope alive. Okay, though I'm hopeful. Yes, I am. Hopeful for today. Take this music. Okay. <laughs> I know I crack myself up to y'all. I love music. If you know anything about me, I, I am a big music girl. A big music buff. And since I've been a little tight, um, play instruments and everything. I, I, I was raised by music lovers. Let's see. What do we have? And I grew up in performing art schools. So I was in theater for a lot of time. So that's why I'm really, you know, theatric. I feel like I don't deserve you. And they don't. They know they don't. They knew that you was out of their motherfucking league. But you was out here doing charity. Okay? 
they know that they're not even in your league, your bracket, your echelon. You know, your section, your class, none of that. And that's why they did you the way that they did you. Because they used to doing shit to Shandrika, you know, and Jose. Hmm. Do we have anything else, Spirit? I'm gonna leave. I don't know how to live without you. I can't live. If living is without you. Tell them to hang up and down 911. If this is an emergency. That's what I be telling these motherfuckers. Oh, this sounds like an emergency. You might want to hang up and down 911. Because this seems like you need some intervention. You need some services. And I'm off the clock. Okay? <sighs> I wish I would have treated you better. I'm trying to tell you. This keeps coming up. This person may have really did a, a, a working on you. This person could have really done something to like break your trust or hurt you. Like deceive you. They really could have put you in a trick bag. I do care for you deeply, but I'm scared you want too much. I'm trying to tell you this person is out of their fucking league with you. I'm focusing on myself right now as you motherfucking should. I want to protect you from myself as you should. I can feel that magnetic pull towards you. I told you, a lot of you all feel some sort of connection with this person. You feel their energy. You could be thinking about them a lot too. That's why they feel a pull with you. But you better get them motherfucking thoughts out your mind. And snatch them. Memories of you are haunting me. I'm trying to tell you, your thoughts, I just said, said that. Your thoughts are haunting them. And they think about you constantly. They only think of you on two occasions. That's day and that's night. Okay? I regret how I handled the situation. Child, I'm going to leave you here. Because this motherfucker is talking in circles now. All right, we heard you, motherfucker. We heard you. We heard you. I'll get the messages. I'll get the messages. I'll, I'll, I'll let them know. Goodbye. All right, it's time for me to get them up off my fucking line. So these are messages from your raggedy ass person. I hope these messages have resonated with y'all. You know, and brought you some sort of clarity, comfort, closure, whatever it was you were looking for. I hope you found it here with me and then some booze. Don't forget to please give the video a thumbs up if it resonates and really helps the channel and the algorithm. And it makes your girl so happy, okay? Um, let's see... I'll leave my information below if you want to connect with me off of here. In the meantime, in between time, y'all keep that motherfucking head up. Y'all know y'all better keep that motherfucking bread up. And keep these hoes fed the fuck up so they can shut the fuck up. All right? I'm your girl, A. Nicole. I'll catch you all in another video. Bye-bye.